Hi everybody, today I am going to start with our first video in our video series and we are going to learn how to set up a practice account with Avatrader. Now I know a lot of you have Macs and there seems to be an issue with setting up your accounts and your traders and whatnot. So um, we're going to use a program called MetaTrader. Now originally I didn't want to do that because it's much more advanced but after looking at the version of Mac or the version of platform that you can use on a Mac it, it seems like you can't choose a practice account like it's only for a real account or something I don't know. So uh, we're just gonna go with MetaTrader. So we're gonna open up a browser whatever browser you want we're gonna go to avatrade.com And then from avatrade.com, we are going to open a demo account. If you already did this, just uh, do it again. Okay, so the chosen, plaf chosen platform is for MetaTrader 4. Okay, so we're going to keep that there. And let me just see what's in there. Yes, that's what we want MetaTrader 4. Fill out your information again. You could just uncheck that so you don't get multiple emails and then click start trading. For me, I'm already a customer. Oh, great. So I'm logged in into my real account. When you have a real account, you could just go to uh, log in to your account. And then from there, you can open the demo account. But nobody has a real account, so that doesn't matter. Now, here's mine, MetaTrader 4. I'm going to keep it at US dollar currency. I'm going to click Start Trading. It's important to know that if you set up an account for MetaTrader 4, you can only log into it from MetaTrader 4. So they give you a web trading platform version and the download the platform version. I don't know if you can do this on a Mac. Hopefully you can because that's that's what we really want. If you can't, I guess we'll do the web trading. I'm just going to see if it works. Okay, so now I want user ID and password. So there's my account. Of course. All right, four oh nine oh three seven five. password and our environment is going to be Ava demo. Remember me, log in. And here we are. We're looking at the Avatrade web version for our Mac users. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at our chart of course but these are all the things that you can use to find information about your account and to control the charts. So, for starters, we've already discussed how this is the price. Down on the bottom is the date. If this is a one week chart, that means each bar is a week and the last bar on the chart is the current week. So at the start you don't need to use this at all really. We're just gonna go here 
this will show you that you can choose your charts. So if we're going to be looking at the Euro Canadian chart, then we just click on Euro Canadian. This is the time frame of the chart. Lots of times we change through these dates. So right now we normally trade the hour or so, maybe four hour. Um, this here is how you can change your chart style. So you got candlesticks, you got bars. We don't use bars, lines. We sometimes use lines, but mostly candlestick is what we use. This icon right here is a list of indicators and indicators are things that will help you trade but they can also confuse things and mostly we won't be using indicators but there may be a time where we may go over the MACD, possibly the Bollinger Bands and that's it. And then you have the line tool so in this tool, you can do different things. You can make annotations to your charts. Um, Fibonacci expansions, don't worry about that. Just different types of lines, different types of things. But we're, we're really just going to be using the line tool. And uh, Now. How do you make a line? Okay. There we go. Ugh. Let's try that again. Click on the line and then click on the spot where you want to start the line. Make your line and then click again to end the line. So that's a line. That's a support line. It's a floor. I don't know how to delete them. Oh, great. <laughs> Anyways, I guess if you want to, you can just uh, change your chart for now. I'm sure there's a way to delete the lines. Anyways, moving on. Um, let's see, you can make a deposit to your account from up here if you have a real account. You can look at the economical calendar, which we might be doing in time because that, that can help us know whether a break is going to happen or not. Um, you can change the theme of your charts. One-click trading, we will never do that. That's that's for the fast and the furious when the market's open and you're playing by the clicks. <laughs> Good way to lose money. And orders. So if I want to make a new order, that's something we're going to use a lot. So moving on, this will make your chart full screen, which would be useful. This is the language, you're logged in your account number, and log out feedback in a bit. So, moving here, okay, we don't care about that. This is just different types of news for different things. I mean, you could read it, but you don't need to. So, down below, you have your account information. So, while this tab is clicked, it will show a list of your open positions so that's things that's uh, positions that you're in currently so if I had a bot right here and I'm in the market then my open position would be here pending orders are orders pretty much it's when we say if the price goes here we want in on the up and then the price hasn't hit there yet so it's a pending order if the price hits, it becomes an open position. Then we have closed positions, and that's when the position is closed, and you will know whether you finally had profited or lost on the trade. Okay, so down here is your is your information. 
and uh, that's just useless. It's it's your profit and loss on the open of the day, I guess. I'm not 100% sure, but what really counts is your balance. Your balance is your current, your your starting value of your account. Then you have equity, which is the value of your account and the value of your open positions. So balance doesn't take into account what's happening with your open positions, only with your closed positions. But equity counts as your open positions. So if I was to have bought here and it went up and I gained $1,000, my balance would be $100,000 and my equity would be $101,000. When I close the position, the balance would now be 101 so the equity would turn to the balance and the equity would stay the same because now our equity is that as well but let's say we have $101,000 in our account and equity and then we lose 2000 then our balance would still be 101,000 because that was the start of it but the equity would be 99,000 because the position is still open and the equity is taken into account the open positions. If I close the position with minus 2,000, then the balance now becomes $99,000. Your margin is the amount of money you currently have in your trades, in all of them. So we don't want to trade more than 20% of our account. So if we had $100,000, this should say maximum 20000 However, once you make your trades and you lose or gain money, this percentage would change. Because if you make more money, then at 20%, it's no longer 20%. It might be 18%. Or if you lose money, it now might be 24%. Free margin is the amount of money you have to make trades with in total. And like I said, we're going to stick with maximum 20%. But so if we put 20%, which is $20,000, your free margin would be $80,000. I'm not sure what the margin level is. I'm not sure what credit is. So you don't care about anything else except these ones here. Um... Looking at this, I think we're complete. So now you can see our chart. You understand the, the platform. This is how we make our trades in here. Um, I can't make a trade right now because the market is closed. But if I were to make a trade on this chart here, let's say that there is a line here and it was to break. Then I would say at 60, 40, so I would do a new order with crude oil. Um, it's a buy order. Amounts, we'll say um, 500. We can set our take profit and stop loss in a moment. See, I can't make the trade because the market is closed right now, not even an order. So later on this evening, on Sunday evening, the market will open again, and I would be able to make my trade, and I would be able to pick where I wanted the buy to be at, which number. And our number was 80.40. So... Once that got executed, if this price was to go up to, sorry, not 80, 40, 60, 40. If this price was to go up to 60, 40, then we would be in on the up. We could probably put our take profit right here, and that would gain us 40 pips. Pretty good. And I think that's everything we need to know about these charts. So if anybody has any questions, just let me know. And good luck.